A Jefferson Parish company is developing a product it hopes will eventually help keep frontline workers from being infected by the coronavirus. In theory, it uses ultraviolet light technology to neutralize the virus. Paul Murphy reports one version of the device fits right under your mask or face covering. As we begin to reopen stores, restaurants and other businesses, mask wearing is one of the most important tools in slowing the spread of COVID-19. A face covering helps prevent your germs from infecting others, but it doesn't necessarily protect you from the coronavirus. So UV light shines in. Justin Hartenstein is the development director at Metairie based Oracle Lighting. He's working on a new kind of mask that uses UV light technology to sanitize and disinfect the air around your face. What we're doing is using ultraviolet germicidal irradiation to neutralize live viruses, pathogens, and other bacteria, um, including viruses like coronavirus. There are two versions of the antimicrobial irradiation respirator or air device. You would place our UV device on the face and then a mask would go over it. Uh, we also have a, uh, a, a professional grade version that, uh, that has filters integrated into it. UV lights have been used for years to sterilize medical equipment and purify water. There's even a UV product that kills germs on your cell phone. Air device co-inventor Troy Organo says they saw a real need for a device like this as the virus spiked in early March. It was basically like a, a light going off saying this, you really do need this out on the front lines as well as just every day for to, to keep jobs going. Doctors say UV light can damage your skin over time and increase your risk of skin cancer. Hartenstein says the air device was designed to protect the person wearing it. And all the LEDs, all the irradiation takes place going in the opposite direction of the of the user that's actually wearing the mask. So there's no irradiation that's that's directed back at the user. Oracle's air device is patent pending. And if tests check out, the company hopes to bring a consumer version of the product to market as early as this summer. In Mattery, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. So if Oracle gets the green light to market the air device, it will be built and assembled at the company's Metairie facility.